One day, as we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners a great deal of money by fortune telling. While she followed Paul around us, she would cry out, These men are slaves of the Most High God who proclaim to you a way of salvation. She kept doing this for many days. But Paul, very much annoyed, turned to the spirit and said, I order you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. I came out of her that very hour. But when her owners saw that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the authorities. When they had brought them before the magistrates, they said, These men are disturbing our city. They are Jewish and are advocating customs that are not lawful for us Romans to adopt or observe. The crowd joined in attacking them. And the magistrates had them stripped of their clothing and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After they had given them a severe flogging, they threw them into prison and ordered their jailer to keep them there securely. Following those instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was an earthquake so violent that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword about to kill himself, since he was supposed he supposed that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted in a loud voice, Don't harm yourselves! We are here! All of us! And the jailer called for the lights, and rushing in, he fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas. And then he brought them outside and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they answered, Believe in our most high Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. They spoke the word of the Most High to him and all who were in the house. At the same hour of the night, he took them and washed their wounds, and he and his entire family were baptized without delay. He brought them up into the house and set food before them, and he and his entire household rejoiced that he had become a believer in God.